Art is a time machine, but how so? It enables us to travel into the past and future in the timeline of the fabric of the universe. It is manifested through two main parts of us, our ego and our soul, and it uses our emotions as a road to give us the experience of time traveling. The past is observed by our ego, which tells us our story. The future is unfolded by our soul, and it uses art to create new realities to get us closer to God. I am a humble boy that was born in Brazil and uh, in a humble family and I had this big dream in, in my mind to be an artist. That's how I want to do. Like for me, if I'm not going to be an artist, there's nothing else I could do in life. And so I'm a guy who has a lot of aspirations. I, have, I still have a lot of dreams. My dreams never end. I keep having one after another. There's so much thing I want to accomplish in this world. There's so much beauty I want to show to this world, to people. And I just love life so much. My name is Cristiano de Arch. Cristiano, last name de Araújo. I'm a visual artist, painter, mural painter, canvas painting, digital artist, sculptor, art installation, comic artist, which is writing comic strips, illustration, caricatures, cartoons, but mostly I do is murals, large-scale murals and graffiti art. I've been a visual artist all my life, since I was a toddler. Art for me, it's a way of uh, touching emotions. Whatever you can ignite and, and fire an emotion in someone, um, that's an art form. I always want to touch people on a large scale. And then as I'm growing up more and, and getting more mature, maturing myself and also maturing my art, I found that it, you know, it's, it's, it's such an amazing thing to touch people. You know, and the murals, it's, 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 it's just amazing. It's like, it, it's, the audience is large. It's like people just walking every day in the city. And, and they, the city is like a museum, you know, like they just walking and, and see those beautiful art. And then I'm very honored and, and happy to be one of the people that I, I can have my work there. I wanted people to feel first inspired and I want them to be touched in their heart because art comes from the heart. And there's so many beautiful messages you can communicate to the world and you can touch people and move people and inspire people, you know, and just to make people just, you know, bring the greatest on themselves just by seeing art that already elevates you. A feeling, an emotion I have in my heart, you know, to do art and create art, expressing myself. I thought that was like the most transcendent thing to do. And then I just wanted to do this for the rest of my life. And I was so moved by art and art is just so much part of my life and my identity. I, I also had a dream of leaving Brazil and moving to another country, North America, which I did, moving to Canada. On my early days was quite difficult as I believe for most immigrants. So learning the language, you know, and making connections, networking, uh, making friends and all those things and you know find employment so I had that you know a lot of hard work there but later on I, I you know I keep working really hard and focus on my goal to 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 become an artist and eventually I I was able to establish myself more and then being recognized for my work follow your heart follow that that feeling that, that call inside your heart that tells you, that makes you happy. Because all of us has things we do that make us happy. For me, it was art. 
I, when I first encounter, you know, a crayon and first encounter, you know, like the ability uh, to create and paper and drawing, that gave me a lot of joy. So follow that, because that's very important. Follow that feeling, follow that emotion. Just do that, just do that for yourself. You do do for yourself, because you're making yourself happy. Also, another advice I'll give you to future artists is, um, you, you have to see art as such a something so important in your life that if you can't do this, you're not fit to do anything else. And guess what? The universe and the subconscious mind you find a way to make it happen. You did it to me, you can do it to you as well. So that's my advice. Follow that passion so strongly, such as a burning desire inside you that it's like it's so strong that you're going to do anything in your power to make it happen. And guess what? It will happen.